I'm Marla Spivak and I'm a professor at the University of Minnesota and I specialize on bee research. In our 2010 paper on the plight of bees, we outlined the problems facing honeybees today and we also outlined the problems facing native bees. So both of them are in decline. Honeybees are introduced from Europe, but we have many species of native bees and they're also in decline. Bees are the major pollinators of our fruits and vegetables and also our wild wildflowers. So they pollinate much of the nutritious part of our diet and also contribute to the aesthetics in our environment. We're losing 30 to 40 percent of our honeybees every year on average. We really don't know the cause of colony collapse disorder. We know that there's three combining major factors. One of those is lack of flowers and then pesticide use contributes to this problem. And then bees have their own diseases and parasites. And when you combine poor nutrition through the lack of flowers with toxicity from the flowers from the pesticides and then their own diseases, they just combine in very lethal ways to bees. So beekeepers are struggling to keep their bees alive and they're doing all that they can to keep the bees alive. They're changing practices and using better management practices. But the public can also help, and that is by simply planting more flowers for bees, bee flowers. And then the second step, in addition to growing flowers, would be to reduce pesticide use. And those two things would help our pollinators quite a bit. Of course, it's a great honor to have it chosen as the top paper, but mostly um, I'm happy about it because it helps increase awareness about the plight of bees. So uh, anything that we can do to raise public awareness about what is facing our bee pollinators and things we can do to help is really good. I really appreciate it.